What up guys, back with another video. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today, I'll basically, I'll be doing two things. I don't really know what the topic is going to be other than just basically EDC. So pretty much you'll just be seeing different EDC stuff and hearing me ramble on for 15 minutes or whatever. So, here's what I think are the basic, the, the very minimum of things you need for EDC. And I don't have all the EDC stuff here. Some people want to have a wallet. If you got money or a driver's license, which I don't because I'm poor and 14. A handkerchief. If you think you're going to be in a dust storm in the middle of Ohio. Or a pack of cards. If you're a nerd like me and you like doing card tricks, because why not? Or I sometimes carry a field book on me because I have an inordinate fondness for wasps and ants, basically just time and option in general. Or you might want to carry a lighter if you smoke or if you just like fire or something if you're creepy or if you're like a outdoorsy guy so you you know burn wood and stuff or if you're a balasonger you'll need a trainer or a balasong in general on you but I think base the basic minimums are a watch I have two different G-Shocks here don't know the model numbers because I didn't prepare for this video. I would definitely, if you're going to be out of the house and stuff, which, I mean, I don't know about nowadays, but if you're going to be out of the house, I would recommend a watch, a multi-tool, and a knife at least. I have a watch on me almost every day. I forget to put it on some mornings. I've been spending a lot of time in the house recently, so I uh, haven't really carried a knife or multi-tool on me. But some days I'll carry a knife on me, and most days I'll carry a balasong trainer on me. But recently I've been carrying a field book around, because I'm weird. I would recommend Leathermen for multi-tools because they just overall make the best Leathermans. I still like Victor Knox, but Leatherman is definitely decent and of Leatherman multi-tools, like just multi-tools in general, not counting Victor Knox, they're definitely the best. For knives, I just I just recommend a Spider Co because Spider Co is the best of all knife brands. And anyone who says otherwise is just wrong. I'm sorry. Amazon has a lot of crappy brands like Inlando. Um, but yeah, Spyderco is the best. There's also your Chinese brands like like um, Ganzo. I've heard it pronounced Gonzo. I pronounced it Gonzo for the longest time. Specifically because it irritated the hell out of my dad. But I've given in and admitting it's Ganzo. I gave in a long time ago. For watches, I mean, if you're looking for a good, affordable watch, I'd say G-Shock, Casio G-Shocks. Because they're durable. They are comfortable. I don't know, I don't really know what attributes to a watch there are. They're durable, they're comfortable, they tell time. <laughs> Although, the light on this one is really bad. Let's see, the light button... No, they're right there. The reverse button activates a tiny little light there and lets you just barely see the time. It's... a oh god. It's just not good. This one though. 
It lights up the whole back so you can definitely see that in the dark. The light to this is superior to the light of this. You didn't see nothing in in this one. You don't see the time in that one. In lighters, recently I have been carrying a lighter ish sometimes just for I don't quite know. Just just cuz I want to and there's nothing wrong with it, so I have been. Now, this is a windproof lighter right here. This one is not. But this one is also plastic casing, so, I mean, it's certainly a trade-off. The place where you adjust the fuel levels is down at the bottom. Or, well, not adjust the fuel levels, but adjust the output of fuel. This is windproof. This one is not even slightly windproof. I would show you, except I'm not turning on lighters in my room. If you think you're going to get in a dust storm, so you need a handkerchief, I can't really help you with that because I've never been in a dust storm because I live in Ohio. And, I mean, I don't, I don't live in a dust storm. If you're going with a pack of cards, like I do sometimes, I think bicycle is the best just because it's, you know, just kind of the throwaway. You, you lose one, you break one, you're like, oh, okay. I can go buy another one for like a buck. And for wallets, I can't really help you. I recommend Maxpedition Wallet. But other than that, I can't really help you because I own uh, two wallets, I believe. One of them is a Sonic the Hedgehog wallet I have had since I was like seven, eight. I got it for Christmas and I just never ended up throwing it away because I really don't have any reason to. It doesn't take up a lot of space. And then the wallet I used most of the time before the end of the world was a chain wallet. It was just it was just a big ass black wallet with a little fiery with like a phoenix or something on it and it had a long chain that hooked around your belt. And I stopped wearing that one and just started dropping the money in my pockets. Because that thing, once you put it on, is impossible to get off without taking off your belt. And I'm not gonna take off my belt. I dropped something, I'm sorry. So, personally, for my EDC purposes, for a knife, I carry this every day because... <sighs> because it's... Because it's a completely functional knife, so I totally carry it every day. So I didn't. I don't really know why I made that. But I did. I also made this. The weird things you make in lockdown when there's literally nothing to do. But no, I spent, I've spent i spent a lot of my time learning Battle of Song, and I've spent a lot of time reading up on insects. You're not gonna read that, because that's all blurry. Well, I mean, yeah, I don't really think I got much material for this but I figured I'd do it anyway and I'd get something out and got you guys would see it and be like oh cool he's not dead no I just forgot to do my videos for a while so I decided I'd do one tonight instead of forgetting again 
I've been getting better at throwing knives, and soon I'm going to get a set of spidey throwers. Which are way bigger than the ones I have now. Mine are like 7 inches. Spidey throwers are like 11 on large size. 9 small size, 10 to medium. Well, basically, yeah, if you're going to... Oh, oh, you should also carry a flashlight. I forgot about that. You should always definitely carry a flashlight. I almost always carry a flashlight. But I forgot. I would recommend Olight for that. Or Phoenix. Phoenix is also acceptable. But Olight and Phoenix are two of the best brands for that kind of... For flashlights. So yeah, I think that's about it. Hope you have a... Totally brodacious day and party on, dudes. Like, comment, subscribe, and party on. See you next time.